The 2023 Toyota 4Runner isn't like most of the other mid-size crossovers and SUVs that line the streets and fill suburban driveways. That's because the 4Runner is more old-school truck than new-age car, it has a pickup truck frame and boasts legitimate off-road chops. The Toyota 4Runner will comfortably seat 5 average-sized adults. Headroom is good across the board, peaking at 39.3 inches in the front, and legroom is pretty decent too. Six-footers will love the legroom up front, but taller passengers could feel a bit tight in the second row. Other than its ability to go off-road, the 4Runner's primary purpose in life will be to haul people and their stuff around town, and for that, you need a ton of cargo space. Behind the 40-20-40 split reclining and fold-flat second-row seat, you'll get 46.3 cubes. The interior of the 4Runner is not what you'd call state-of-the-art, with switchgear that could have come from the latter years of the last millennium. Lackluster materials and styling aside, it manages to comfortably fit humans front and rear in spite of its back-of-the-class interior measurements. We haven't tested the optional third row, but we suspect that it's best for children. A flexible cargo area and several large, deep cubbies in the front row mean that the 4Runner is as versatile a hauler as it is a rock crawler. Just don't try to heave anything into the cargo hold unless you have a chiropractor on call, its floor is uncomfortably high off the ground. Every 4Runner features an 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system. The interface includes a set of physical buttons as well as rotary volume and tuning knobs. The system comes standard with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot. A built-in navigation system and a 15-speaker JBL audio system are available upgrades. The 2023 Toyota 4Runner isn't like most of the other mid-size crossovers and SUVs that line the streets and fill suburban driveways. That's because the 4Runner is more old-school truck than new-age car, it has a pickup truck frame and boasts legitimate off-road chops. In its most capable forms, it has extra underbody armor, an electronic locking rear axle, upgraded suspension components, and knobby tires. Along with rear or four-wheel drive, every model has a 270-horsepower V6 and an automatic transmission. Unfortunately, that powertrain is a relic compared to those powering body-on-frame rivals such as the Ford Bronco and Jeep Wrangler. The Toyota's 4.0-liter engine might be reliable, but it also reliably consumes fuel at an alarming rate. The truck's interior has plenty of passenger and cargo space, but its cabin materials are drab. On regular roads, this truck-based SUV drives like, well, a truck, its handling feels loose, and its ride is uncouth. The 4Runner can go places many of its classmates can't, but outside of those limited-use cases it's undeniably antiquated. The 2023 model years marks the 40th anniversary of the 4Runner nameplate. To celebrate, Toyota introduces a special edition based on the entry-level SR5 model that's limited to a production run of 4,040 examples. The 23 Forerunner 40th Anniversary Special Edition comes in red, white, or black paint with tricolored graphics on the body sides and grille. A set of bronze 17-inch wheels is also part of the package. Every 4Runner is motivated by a 270-horsepower 4.0-liter V6 paired with a 5-speed automatic transmission. Available with rear-wheel drive and either full or part-time four-wheel drive systems, the outdated powertrain provides unremarkable acceleration, with the last version we tested taking 7.7 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. The automatic's lethargic responses certainly don't optimize the engine's uneven behavior, and downshifts often require heavy right-foot inputs to spur the forerunner ahead. Still, the Toyota manages to feel more composed on pavement than the more unwieldy Wrangler. Our time behind the wheel of the off-road oriented model showed off the SUV's notable ground clearance, and its body-on-frame construction was supported by a soft suspension that absorbed a variety of terrain reasonably well. 
The forerunner steering is lightly weighted and imprecise, and while those traits betray any sense of sportiness, they're fine for crawling along trails and around parking lots. Aged though the Toyota feels in action, its performance is right in the mix with its more modern competitors, including the V6 Dodge Durango. And the Toyota's rugged frame and torque-rich engine give it a leg up in towing, its 5,000-pound capacity beats the Ford Edge and Wrangler, while falling short of the more powerful Durango's 8,700-pound limit. Inside, the bronze color is repeated in the stitching on the leatherette seats and shift knob. There are also callouts to the Forerunner's 40th birthday on the floor mats, front headrests, and a couple interior badges. Also new for 2023 is standard blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert on every model. We recommend the TRD off road model. It's not as capable off road as the lifted TRD Pro, but its significantly lower price tag makes it a better value. Along with standard four-wheel drive and some TRD-specific exterior and interior bits, the TRD off-road gets equipment that helps justify its name. This includes an electronically locking rear differential for maximum traction in slippery or muddy conditions. It also has selectable drive modes, called multi-terrain select and crawl control, that can alter the SUV's powertrain behavior to accommodate various driving scenarios. We'd select the optional kinetic dynamic suspension, which allows improved wheel articulation during off-road action. We'd also opt for the sliding rear cargo deck, which makes moving heavy cargo easier and even provides tailgate seating. Don't forget to subscribe and like leave me a comment to tell me how you found this car. Thank you.